Hello brothers and sisters, this is Melinda Nail Fanatic and this reading is to apply for Monday, July 18th, 2016 for your love, peace and happiness. I have the Ace of Swords crossed by the High Priestess who is topped with a love room. The Eight of Cups as the outcome with wealth and change. The underlying card at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands, and above the entire reading is the Joy Room. Now, I see a lot of stability in what's coming in here because for this one, I picked out four runes. I usually try to grab three, but four were in my hand, so rather than put one back, I kept it. And the same thing kind of happened with the word cards that I have made. So, I see that this is about beginning a new phase of your journey. You have already done the planning, and now things are coming together for you to make the first actions in regards to this plan. Underneath that energy, the word cards are retreat and insecurity. So, I got from those intuitively, I received those in regards with the Three of Wands to us, the messages are leave insecurities about going down this new path out. Because topping the entire reading is joy. This is a good thing. It's for your joy, but the joy is a little bit far off still right now. You're not totally seeing it all. This is why I believe that rune landed so far off from the rest of everything else. The Ace of Swords is about receiving clarity and it, when it's crossed with the two of the High Priestess, for me it's uh, somebody is receiving understanding of secrets. Somebody else is understanding and the secret is in regards to their love life because the ruin on top of the High Priestess is love. Somebody else, they're getting greater clarity in spiritual messages because spirit is just flowing to you. Love is also the energy of source. And underneath that is release. And so either way this goes, it's about a change coming in for you. With the Eight of Cups, I see that it, you're moving on to something better. And it's going to be emotional for you. And for somebody you will experience a change in your financial situation in making this change. And so this may be why you feel some insecurity about making this change, for, especially for you who's leaving a relationship because some secrets came out. Your joy isn't actually going out of this relationship now that you know the truth because if you stay here, although you may have greater financial security, it's never going to give you the emotional stability that you're wanting. And so for someone else, it's not, it, it's just a change in, in the wealth of spiritual flow for you and you know that it's increasing and it's really exciting so these are the messages that I have for you let me just make sure I'm not getting anything else before I let you go keep positivity on your mind as you go through these changes focus on on what is bringing you joy now because you are moving on to better and I really feel like even for you and who is going through this in love if you look at the high priestess if you can tell with all the little movements because I don't have the stand for my phone right now that her eyes are focused on the love room so you know you have moving on to better things will get better and 
you just have to stay focused on the positivity to see those blessings. If you believe it, you can see it. If you do not believe it, you cannot. God in the universe will show you what you believe. So you have to believe that everything is working out for your greatest good. But it is a time of change. And what we want to go away from is feeling insecure. I'm also getting now that because somebody's following their intuition and beginning to take action on this bright idea that they had, they're just going to increase in stability. You are just increasing your financial stability. You don't even know yet how exciting this is going to get for you. So congratulations. This is wonderful. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.